Hey guys, Nuka here. Welcome to part two video of this uh, three part series. If you haven't checked out the first part, which is pretty much the setup of the system, I have that posted in the description. If you go ahead and check out that link. As for right now, we're going to go ahead and actually test the results of the water using all three. We have the uh, city water, CW. The BW stands for bottled water. And of course, the RO is going to stand for reverse osmosis. What we're going to use to test this out is we're going to use our TDS tester, which stands for total dissolved solids. And it has a little gauge on the back we'll take a look at here in a few. So all this, these tests will be done using cold water. And this is not an end-all, be-all type test. It just gives you a good idea of what the heck is in your water. So first thing we'll do is we're going to take a look at our city water. We got a city faucet over here. Get the cup, get some cold water running. Slow that down here. There we go. So it's going to sit here and get a good collection of the water. That might be a little bit slower than it needs to be. There we go, that's good. And we're going to place the city water right there. Next, we're going to have the bottled water. Let's see if I can open up this bad boy one handed. Come on, baby. Ah, there we go. We're going to pour the bottled water in its own respective container. Ooh, it looks good. And the third one, we're going to use, of course, the reverse osmosis system. Push this out of the way. Get the gooseneck started here. It's pretty good flow coming up. Yep, got my little A&W bug. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Alright. So now that we have all three of our Samples, we'll go ahead and test them using the TDS. Kind of like how we did that Cadenaia pocket filter review, which, by the way, is on my channel if you want to check that out. Just throwing it out there. All right, so the city water. First thing we're going to do is take this bad boy in here, see what the numbers say. Let's give about five seconds. Four, three, two, one. So what we get a reading of is 127 parts per billion. Right, so we're going to write that down. Wood. It is very hard to write on paper towel with one hand, just so you know. 127. Next, bottle water. We're going to clear this out first. Okay, we got zero. So let's give it five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And look at that. Now we have 154 parts per million. So once again, we're going to try to write this down. One, five, four. Clear it. And now the final one, the reverse osmosis. We have five, four, three, two, one. And we have 10 parts per billion. So we're going to write down 10. So now we got to figure out what do these numbers mean. So on the back of this, they have a little gauge here. It tells you pretty much what's in your water. Is your water only water? Let's find out. So city water, we got, sorry for the focus, 127. 127, as you can tell, equates to hard water. It is below average tap water, so I guess that's kind of good. The next one, bottled water, 154, actually higher than the city water still falls under hard water. The final one, reverse osmosis, at 10. 
If you notice here, from 0 to 50, you see RO stands for reverse osmosis. Sorry about the focus again. Reverse osmosis. So here we can tell there is a very clear distinction and the numbers don't lie about what lies in your water. Would you rather be drinking 10 parts per million? Or 127? Or 154? Just kind of something to kind of think about, kind of mull around in your head. Those are pretty much the test results. Nothing was fixed, nothing was rigged. Actual, actual results, how they were. So hopefully that gives you guys a little better idea of uh, how good a reverse osmosis system is. And of course, all the other things I stated in the first video. Now for the final part, for part three, hopefully you guys can check that out too because that is going to have something I think is something every prepper should see. I'm going to leave it at that. So I'll see you guys in the third part. Until then, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.